Can you suggest some metrics that could be used mm. to identify if automation is adding value? Excellent question. Mm, Excellent. Yeah. So I think this one is really hard to, um, you know, measure because it's like it's the same with quality. It's hard to measure quality. But I think um, with automation, you can sort of measure, I guess, I've um I've I've mentioned an example a while ago about our release cycle. So you could look into how often you were releasing prior to have um prior to having test automation and then compare that if you know the release cycle is much more frequent. Um because basically the idea is you know test automation should speed up the release cycle because it should um it should free you up from doing all this you know, boring, you know, types of testing and then just exploring, you know, the areas that test automation can't catch. So I think that's a really good metric. Um, and if you're using, you know, Jira, you can sort of um, kind of measure it. So um, I'm not an expert in, in Jira, but one, but our, um, our Scrum Masters uh, provide like metrics, for example, on what's our release cycle. So when we put a ticket from dev to, you know, test to ready to deploy to done, like how quick is our cycle time is. And if that cycle time is always reduced, then I think it's a good sign. Um, another another metric. Um, mm, can't think of any more, but I think the release cycle um, is is a good one. Um, yeah, I think that's the only one I can I can come up. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do you have any suggestions, Ministry of Testing Hive Mind? Uh, yeah. But thank you for that uh, answer there, Marie, and thank you again for that question, Louise.